What's going on hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vong. Got something to ask you guys. Would you guys be interested in seeing more wedding film tutorials by me on this channel? Now the reason why I'm asking is because I've been getting a ton of Instagram DMs asking me uh, what I do at weddings, why do I do a certain things at weddings, just because I've been doing a lot of BTS on my Instagram story. So I figured if there's a bit of interest on Instagram, maybe there's a lot of interest on YouTube. So let me know in the comments down below and definitely give this video a like if you're interested in seeing more wedding film tutorials. So I figured to kick things off, a great topic that I can start with is how to get your first wedding gig, whether it be photography or videography. I feel like the principles are relatively the same. First, story time, I wanna share with you guys how I personally got started doing wedding films. Now, back in 2015, I was developing a passion for camera gear. Yes, that's when the gas started, but also wanting to better myself in video making. So, at the time, I was shooting with the Canon T3i. I was looking to upgrade to something better. And mind you, this was before Sony a7R2, before Sony was creating a buzz. Um, I got the Panasonic GH4. Now, the GH4 was very popular in the filmmaking community. So I picked one up and like anybody who's picked up their camera obviously goes on YouTube to learn more about it, join Facebook groups, join forums, and I joined the Panasonic GH4 user group. And coincidentally, my buddy Eric, who I shoot all my weddings with right now, he was in the group and he asked me, hey man, I saw that you joined the group. I have two Panasonic GH4s. I have four weddings booked this summer. Would you like to come out to assist me? And I was like, heck yeah, man. Of course I'll come out to assist you. An opportunity to make money with the camera I just got? Why not? Now the funny thing to this whole story was that at the time, it was like, it, it may have been like seven years since I saw Eric, you know, we've met in college. He was a graduating senior. I was a fresh incoming freshman and we've met first day of film club and maybe another time after that. So maybe we've met twice in college and that's it. I've never saw the guy again. I mean, we connected on Facebook, but that's pretty much it. I thought that was a fun story to share just because it goes back to that whole saying, it depends on who you know in the industry because you never know who you meet one day who could potentially just turn or change your life around. So that's what happened with me and Eric. I feel like, you know, we became really good friends, we became best friends, and now we're shooting weddings for the last three years and just having a complete blast. So I feel like that was partially luck, partially good timing, a super great coincidence. But let me share with you guys a second story about perseverance. So around 2016, another college buddy of mine Eddie, he was about to get married. So he saw that I do wedding films and he asked, would I like to shoot his wedding? So I was like, wait a minute. Have you found a photographer for your wedding yet? Cause at the time I wanted to get into wedding photography. You know, I'm a hybrid shooter. I love shooting photos and videos. I figured it'd be a great opportunity for me and Eric to kind of expand on the business to do both photos and videos. And I was like, Eddie, let me shoot the wedding photos while my buddy Eric shoots the videos. And he was like, well, we kind of want, we kind of want you to shoot the video, like your team to shoot the video. <laughs> Do you have any photo samples? And I was like, not really. I was like, look, how about this? Let me shoot your engagement photos and you can decide afterwards if you would like to hire me as a photographer. And they're like, okay, fine. <laughs> so I shot their engagement photo for free and they ended up loving it so much that they put the photos, the photos that I took on their wedding invitation and hired me as their wedding photographer. So those are my two stories on how I first got started in wedding videos and wedding photos. So let's move on to some concrete tips that I think you should do to find your first wedding gig. All right, so the first tip and potentially the easiest tip is to find a friend or someone that you know who is getting married and shoot their wedding for free because nothing beats free. Go ahead and reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I see that you're getting married. Uh, congratulations, by the way. If, you're, if you haven't found a wedding videographer yet or a photographer yet, I would love to come shoot your wedding for free. I haven't done much weddings before, but here are some samples of my work and I know I would do a great job. So it's important that you let your couples know that um, even though you haven't shot weddings before, that you're capable of doing a good job. You need to prove yourself. In my case, I had to do an engagement photo session for free for my friends Eddie and Juanita before they actually hired me to be their wedding photographer. So definitely you wanna prove that you can do a great job. 
that's when you inspire confidence in them to hire you or just have you at their wedding to shoot some photos. Tip number two, find a friend or someone you know who's already in the business and offer your assistance for free, whether it be second shooting, third shooting, or being a pack mule and carrying their tripods. In my case, I got lucky. Eric was starting to shoot weddings at the time when we both owned the same camera, so that's how I got my ball rolling. That sounded weird. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> Okay, so the third and final tip is actually very similar to the last tip is to join a Facebook group. Join the wedding videography group, join the wedding photography group and look out for local listings, you know? Hit those people up and be like, hey, if you have a second shooter already, I would still love to come out to, to assist you in any way, like hold the tripods, be an extra body uh, next to a camera to make sure it's recording, you know, anything, you know? Again, you wanna show your work, you wanna prove yourself. Equally important, keep your message short and to the point. So I know I kept saying, prove yourself, show your work, prove yourself, show your work, but what happens when you don't have a portfolio to really show off? Well, the next best thing you can do is to find yourself a uh, local free photography workshop. You know, maybe they'll have models there or some posed wedding couples that you can shoot some photos of, or maybe a local event that's happening in your area, go do some event photography there, or if you do videos, Get some B-roll, put together a one to two minute highlight afterwards. Aside from that, you wanna be super active on social media because that's where you want to post your results because one day, hopefully very, very soon, a friend of yours will come up and be like, hey, I see that you're doing a lot of photos and videos. I'm getting married soon. Would you like to shoot my wedding? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are a current wedding photographer or wedding videographer yourself, and you have a great tip that you wanna to share to other budding wedding photographer videographers, leave in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.